Having ascended the throne in 1952, Her Majesty was Britain's longest reigning monarch and her death marks the end of an era for the United Kingdom. At the age of 21, she committed herself to a life of service and, throughout her time on the throne, was known for her sense of duty and devotion to her country and the Commonwealth. Now, as the nation mourns the death of Queen Elizabeth II, Express. Co.uk looks back on her life and reign, particularly the host of weird and wonderful nicknames the monarch amassed throughout her 70 years on the throne. The Queen, the figurehead of the monarchy throughout a period of great change, upheld the traditions long associated with the royal family while adapting alongside a modernizing world. And as the royal family took a more open approach to duty, the public was given a glimpse into their lives behind the palace doors. While the royals are generally referred to by their official titles in public, just like any ordinary family, they also give each other endearing nicknames. And the Queen, who had four children, eight grandchildren and twelve great-grandchildren, accumulated a wide range of nicknames from her family members throughout her life. Read more, Queen served her nation until very end, Her Majesty was still working day before her death The Queen has amassed a number of nicknames in her 96 years of life, Image, Getty Images, The Queen had four children, eight grandchildren and twelve great-grandchildren, Image, Getty Images, The Queen has died, What happens now? Funeral and mourning plans in full Queen Elizabeth II has died at the age of 96, with the royal family's official Twitter account confirming the news this evening. There are official plans in place following her death, from where her body will be taken next, to how her funeral will be held. See the funeral and mourning plans in full here. The list begins with Lilibet, the sweet nickname given to the then princess by her mother and father, Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother and King George VI. It has been reported that the nickname started as Dilibet, originally stemming from Elizabeth's mispronunciation of her own name as a child, and later became Lilibet. Another explanation could be because her mother was called Elizabeth so the cute pet name would have avoided any confusion. George VI famously used to say about his two daughters, Lilibet is my pride. Margaret is my joy. The Queen Mother nicknamed her eldest daughter Lilibet, Image, Getty Images, trending the Queen's uncle, the Duke of Windsor, formerly Edward VIII, and his wife Wallace Simpson referred to their sovereign as Shirley Temple in letters published in 1988, according to Business Insider. This nickname was apparently based on the curly hair she shared with the actress as a young woman. In 1947, Elizabeth married Philip Mountbatten and, until his death in April last year, the former naval officer was the monarch's strength and stay. The pair's relationship has been heralded as an epic romance, but Philip's nickname for his wife may be unexpected. Don't miss, Andrew looks set to take on Queen's beloved dogs after monarch's death reveal Queen's poignant last moments with Charles and Anne by her side, insight inside Buckingham Palace, glimpse inside Queen Elizabeth II's home, analysis, then Princess Elizabeth and Prince Philip got married in 1947. Image, Getty Images, the Queen and Philip were married for 73 years. Image, Getty Images, during their 73-year marriage, Philip called Her Majesty Cabbage, believed to originate from a French phrase, mon patty cho, which means my little cabbage. This can also mean my little pastry puff. Diana, Princess of Wales had a very specific nickname for her mother-in-law, the boss. In letters to her friend Roger Bramble, which recently sold at an auction for over £82,000 last year, the Princess of Wales referred to her mother-in-law as the boss, the Daily Express reported. Echoing the origins of Lilibet, Prince William once had a nickname for Her Majesty due to difficulties with pronunciation. Share your memories and stories of the Queen with Express The Queen was known for her devotion to the nation, but will also be remembered for her quick quips and her colorful fashion sense.
Many fans across the nation will be in mourning today and here at Express. Co.uk We want to remember the brilliant stories we all have about the Queen. Click here to share you memories and condolences. As a child, the Duke of Cambridge struggled to say Grandma or Granny, so while trying to call out for the Queen, it came out as the name Gary. According to the Daily Mail, a guest who went to help ask to Gary was, assuming it must be a member of the royal household. I'm Gary, responded Elizabeth. He hasn't learned to say Granny yet. Of course, later. William and the Queen's other seven grandchildren referred to the monarch as Granny. Similarly, decades later, the Queen received a brand new nickname from her youngest heir, Prince George. William could not pronounce Granny as a child, so instead called the Queen Gary, Image, Getty Images, William, like the monarch's other grandchildren, calls his grandmother Granny. Image, Getty Images, in an interview with ITV in 2016, Kate, Duchess of Cambridge revealed her eldest son started using the nickname Gone Gone at the age of two. The Queen also had a long list of nicknames from the public, but perhaps most frequently used is Ma'am and it appears that those closest to the monarch have their own version of the style. Members of the royal family reportedly called Her Majesty Mama, a nod to her matriarchal status.